Hi, we're here at Law 2.0 Conference USA 2023. Now, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Hi, so I'm Rudeja. Uh -huh. um, I am a corporate associate at Inventus Law. It's a full global technology law firm. So we work with startup companies and emerging growth companies right from their inception throughout the entire life cycle of the venture. Mm -hmm. So be it you have your financings, you have licensing agreements, you have your privacy policies, um, trademark, copyright, whatever a company may need. Imagine if you're starting a company, uh -huh. right? What's the first thing that you'll be like, okay, let me know. I need to know how I need to incorporate. Where is the best place to incorporate my company? What are considerations I need to be looking at? Yeah. And that's where we step in. We're basically a full service law firm for startups. Um, and we work with founders right from the beginning of their journey. That's so amazing. that's what um, I do. A lot of uh, boring legal paperwork, <laughs> but fun for me. <laughs> um, yeah. That's perfect. Now, you are a Law 2.0 Conference USA honoree. Mm -hmm. How did it feel to get recognized for your accomplishments? Um, Honestly, um, in the beginning, I was a little surprised yeah. when I was uh, <laughs> approached. But, you know, when you're putting out good energy in the world, when you're working hard, when, yeah. you're, when you're giving back uh, to the legal community, I think that's where really your work, your work ethic and everything that you're doing gets recognized. Mm -hmm. So, first, I'm absolutely honored. But... Honestly, this, the honor that I'm getting actually goes to, you know, my grandfather and my father, who are both lawyers uh, back in India. So whatever I learned about the legal profession, how to have client communication or be a lawyer that just thinks outside of the box, mm -hmm. all of that goes to them. So this honor is really theirs. Yeah. So the question, if they were here, I would be asking them, how do you feel <laughs> that your daughter or your granddaughter is being yeah. honored? Um, but it's absolutely amazing. And I hope that throughout my career, I keep getting more surprises like this, yeah. <laughs> where I'm honored more and more. My work is recognized and I am actually able to help out, you know, not only startup founders, yeah. but also law students so i actually have a venture of my own called legal solace okay. it's basically it's not a company mm -hmm. um because it's i don't really charge anything it's basically just for law students all over the world to understand basic skills like you know your resume drafting your cover okay. letter drafting how to network with people how to have effective communication with partners and all of that was alien to me when i started out so I basically, when I came first time to the US, um, I didn't know the culture of cold emailing because that does not exist oh, in India. Really? So, no way. So I'm like, you can cold email people and they respond? <laughs> so so that's where I, my journey actually started. And I realized that there's so much more to, you know, actually being a lawyer, yeah. having your oratory skills, having your legal jargon, your basic, you know, being updated with laws and effectively communicating. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that all of this combined with the work that I do at Inventus is being recognized. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm so happy to hear that. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, how has your learning and networking experience been so far at Law 2.0 Conference USA? Um, really great. Yeah. So I think I had a very um, funny story. All of the flights um, got canceled out of the East Coast due to storm. So basically, we had to, you know, drive down to DC, take a, a flight out of DC. So I essentially missed the first half of the first half day of the conference oh on time. But I made it to the networking hour, <laughs> um, which is where I believe you meet most of the people. Yeah. So I actually ended up meeting a lot of amazing people. I met um, founders from Canada. Founders wow. who've actually done million dollar exits already. I met financial and real estate people. I met a few healthcare advisors. And all of that just gave me such a more wholesome networking experience. 
and this is something i was just talking to my dad last night uh-huh. and um, i'd mentioned that you know he's always taught me that your network is your net worth mm-hmm. so essentially this conference has actually increased my net worth because i've actually made a lot more uh, meaningful relationships i've met people who i've you know connected on linkedin and oh, hopefully amazing. stay in touch with them mm-hmm. um few of them were actually from you know east coast new york new jersey okay. so hopefully we i can continue meeting them and yeah it's it's been an amazing experience overall and thank you to you and everyone for organizing because it it takes a lot of manpower <laughs> and a lot of you know organizational skills to pull yeah. this off and it's been absolutely amazing i don't think i've had one hiccup Wow. through of the conference. That's so good yeah. to hear. We're so happy that yeah. you're here. Now, if anybody wanted to reach out to you for collaboration mm-hmm. or advice or maybe like a future partnership, um how can they get a hold of you? Um so mostly I'm available uh through LinkedIn. Okay. That's where I, you know, I'm always active. I think the first thing a lot of people do is Instagram these days. <laughs> yeah. But for me it's more LinkedIn because it's that one place where, you know, when people post about certain lifetime achievements or yeah. they post about certain news articles or something that they've written about that actually really expands your knowledge base yeah. so the best way to actually you know if someone had to partner with me would be just reach out to me on linkedin okay. you'll probably get a response in like 0.30 seconds like <laughs> that's that's how much i am on linkedin throughout so the day yeah um but yeah and otherwise you know um always happy to have a phone conversation as well yeah. after we've connected uh meet in person if they're in new york yeah so yeah <laughs> i i'd rather i actually believe in back in meeting in person yes. everything is gone virtual but you know <laughs> let's get back to the old ways of meeting up for coffee and really just I enjoying a good that. conversation yes yeah. that bonding that yeah. relatable thing yeah of course well is there anything else that you'd like to share with us Um just I think um overall the journey so far has been so good for me. Yeah. Um and hopefully you know in more years to come law 2.0 grows and so do I. Yes. With it. Absolutely. So that's really what you know um I'm aiming for. Um I actually am admitted to practice as a lawyer in California, New York and India. Wow. And I do plan to make it global. Uh-huh. Um so hopefully I'll be taking England and Wales uh bar exam some day and Singapore so I'll truly be a global <laughs> lawyer um so let's hope hopefully next time I'm in law 2.0 um you'll be needing a truly global lawyer yeah <laughs> uh with probably four or five jurisdictions wow um to practice in that is so exciting yeah. congratulations and yeah and thank you for organizing this oh. i think it's absolutely spectacular We're so happy to have you here. We're so happy. It's an honor to, you know, hear about your accomplishments and your recognition and we wish you the best. We Thank you. Hope to see you next year. I will. Maybe Dubai. And I hope to see you next year. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Love. Nice to meet you. Take care. Thank you.